Hey guys, Colbert here. Welcome to another Racial Legends video, guys. We are again today to my name, Borat. My name is Borat. <laughs> Uh, account today. We're gonna finish off the, the faction wars to unlock his Lydia. We, yesterday we did uh, Night Raven and today we're gonna do sc uh, Skinwalkers. I was gonna say Skywalkers. <laughs> that, that would have been fun, right? <laughs> have a Skywalker faction and do all Star Wars and stuff. <laughs> that would have been fun. Okay, so what do we have here? We've got Corona. Okay, that's it. That's what I needed to see. I, I, I thought he didn't have Corona. When did he get Corona? I honestly thought he didn't have coronar. Wow, okay, we do have coronar. Okay, guys, this is much easier than I thought. Um, but okay, we still need some building of coronar. Um, stun set, that's pretty good. I would go provoke or stun. Um, speed is low, but let's see if we can get it a bit higher. Uh, wait, what is that? Speed. Um, here, this chest plate has no speed. Can we get... Oh, this is the, the new fitting room, by the way. That's cool. Uh, I'm not gonna really use it. So I just want HP percent and speed. What do we have here? Um, should I break the set? Yeah, I'm gonna break the set. Give him uh, a bit more speed. He doesn't need 260 uh, accuracy. Uh, the stun set doesn't need accuracy to land, but but he does apply provokes and uh, decrease attack, decrease defense. So um, yeah, that's a, a pretty good reason to have some accuracy in him he's got war master pretty good I i'm i'm telling you guys so uh let's go and see the other guys very quickly so um the skinwalkers it really is a boring faction i would say than anything else guys it's boring because it just takes a lot of time to go through uh the whole thing if you don't have the champion so we've got hakorn here i'm liking hakorn for the reason of just healing uh, for the boss there. Uh, we also have Steel Skull. He's going to apply some poison there, some healing. Uh, we're probably going to do this on Otto. And then, uh, yeah, we've got Basher there for the lockdown uh, on the waves. Basher is not that useful. He's a bit too squishy for my liking, but I think I think we're okay in terms of gear so far, at least on the four champions here. And the next up, I think I'm going to go with uh, Longbeard. So the reason I'm, I'm going to go Longbeard instead of uh, Ursine here is I want to get some extra damage and Longbeard is going to help me do that. So I'll quickly gear up uh, Longbeard and we'll go and and do the boss. So we did regear uh, Longbeard, guys. Um, I, I put in some of the gear. I'm not going to level it up, although it's going to be fast. Uh, we'll test it out without leveling the gear up. I just want him to be over 200 speed so he can rotate through his skills a bit fast. Uh, we'll go there and test it out. Skinwalkers. And I think we've got this, guys. I mean, um, Coronar is just a powerhouse in beating Skinwalkers. If we didn't have Coronar, honestly, I would go in there, rebuild all the champions a bit more. But honestly, Coronar uh, just makes it so easy to go through the ways. And then the boss is honestly just planning uh, your attacks. It's the same boss as yesterday. So I'll explain it again for this video. But I'll show you how to actually beat it um, in case you have anything similar that can go through the waves. So um, here, I mean, honestly, I, I, I should just skip the waves because uh, you're going to see how easy it is to do the waves with Coronar. You're going to see everybody attacking uh, Coronar right there. And Coronar will be spamming his A1 once he does apply a defense down or an, an attack down on everyone. There we go. So, okay, now all the attacks that go on Coronar, look look what he's doing on each wave, just spamming that 8 1. I've got so many debuffs, and we should be just fine. The Warmaster, when he procs, it does so much damage to everybody. It's based on their maximum health. So, really, it, it just makes it so easy. Uh, honestly, we have uh, one healer here. No, two healers. We go Hakorn and. Um, and Steel Skull, honestly, Steel Skull seems to be a bit on the weaker side in terms of survivability. I, I might have needed to change that, but we'll see how this goes uh, in terms of beating up the waves. I think we're fine. So um, I'll let this go and I'll show you guys uh, once we reach the boss on how to beat the boss. All right, guys, so it's going to be like two and a half minutes to finish off this boss. I mean, if you have anything that does an AoE attack, um, on, it, on the A1, you put a stun set on them. We did the same thing uh, for Knights Raven and yesterday we had actually two champions with the stun set. So now I'm going manual on everyone just so we can rotate through our skills and have them ready for the boss. So if you have a champion with an A1 that does an AOE, a stun set is a perfect thing for them. It doesn't have to be a coronar, but 
Um, yeah, we it's just the one that we have for Skinwalkers. Honestly, there's no other champion that does an A1 as an AoE for Skinwalkers uh, at level 60 even. So if we even if we did have one, I mean Coronar is the best one for the case. It would be uh, crazy not to use Coronar, honestly. Um, I remember being stuck on Skinwalkers and Lizardmen on my own account, um, among other factions as well. But Coronar and Chris just <laughs> made them a joke, honestly. Uh, so here we're getting a bit low on on, uh, on on Longbeard over there, but I think I think we should be fine. I mean, Longbeard used to be such a good champion for Blender setups, but now I think with Frank and the Fat coming into play, um, he he has a good competitor. I, I thought he was gonna be the best one ever, at least for my account, but I got Frank in the Fat like a week later uh, when I opened my ancient charts. Uh, kind of a shame, honestly, but. Okay, we got a bit low there, but the good thing is two healers. So we reached the boss. I'll explain how the boss does uh, if you haven't seen my video yesterday, guys. Uh, this is the same, you know, Faction Wars boss as in many other cases. What he does is on the A1, he can apply a fear and everyone here is bad. Uh, we don't have a mass cleanse. No, we do have a mass cleanse, actually. Yeah, Hakorn has a mass cleanse and a block debuff buff. But the important thing is... Do not apply any buffs when you see this active. So Mirror Universe basically steals your buffs and gives them to the boss. And the boss takes any debuffs that he has on the time uh, on himself and then puts them on my team, which is bad. It's going to be very, very bad. And also Metal with Fate exchanges remaining HP levels with the target enemy. This happens with its 12th turn cooldown when the boss is around here. Okay, guys, so be very careful on the health. You're going to see me how I do this on manual because I want to be careful. I want to do this in, uh, you know, one try. I don't want to regear all the champions and waste his, uh, his silver and let Borat get a Lydia a bit sooner. So don't waste uh, don't waste this this day that we have this open. So uh, what we need to do first is kill off the ads. Very important. The ads apply provoke and they also help out the big boss. So Always go for the ads. There's no reason to go for the boss. And now I will not be applying any buffs on my whole team. So, um, yeah. I'm going to attack all enemies, increase the cooldowns of their skill skills right here. I don't even think they have cooldowns. I think it's their A1s. But, um, yeah. On my main account, I remember I had... Uh, I even had on Basher a stun set because I really wanted to control these two guys. But it seems that we won't be applying... Um, okay, so are we going to put a, an increased defense buff on ourselves and give it to the boss? Yeah, but I want to have a provoke on these two guys. don't want them attacking me. So I'd rather have the provoke and give this boss some buffs than, than just uh, not, not controlling these two ads. So here, we really need to heal up. So I need Hakorn to, to take, uh, take control and, and do his heal. Four turns cooldown there. Look at the big heal there. We're almost full. Um, except for Coronar. So here I'm just going to kill the ads. I don't care about the boss having any buffs there. I mean, it's nice for him to have the buffs, but... Um, but it won't change anything to us. So now we do a mass healing there with Steel Skull. Uh, we won't do the sacrifice, obviously, with Hakorn because uh, we need our health back. There we go. Slowly killing the ads. Just spamming that A1. Do this AoE. And it... Oh, misclick there. It takes so long uh, to take them down with uh, with this kind of setup. Uh, the biggest problem will be to just well, basically beat down the boss. Because we might not have the damage with the team that we have right now. But we also need to have survivability. We also need to have healing. Uh, and we also need to have some control. So... Once you have a good mixture of all those, then you're at a good place. So here we get so low. There we go. So the boss uses his skill again. But we're fine. I think uh, Hakorn will have his uh, his healing back up any minute now. So we'll do our heal first here. Let's do the A3. There's a decrease attack on the boss. Let's do our mass healing there. Just to have it ready when all this goes. So I'll... Put this on auto after this, and I think we should be fine. So the idea here is to just now, once you kill the ads, you go for the boss. And once he goes to 20%, that's where the real fight comes in because you're in a fight against the clock. Um, 12 turns to do 100% of the boss's health or 
or guys the other way to do this is leave a champion low enough that you know that when the exchange happens um that uh you're gonna exchange your life your lowest life with the boss so it's a bit tricky doing that Ooh, that was very bad <laughs> i didn't think of the the a2 but again we've got hot corn so we've got a nice cleanse here look at all that boom uh, let's put this on auto here and uh, you see how how hard it is for us to get down the health of the boss i mean even with poisons um i think that's going to be the biggest source of damage and that all ally attack basher isn't really a big damage target um so yeah this is going to take a while so let me skip right until when the exchange happens and then we'll see what the game plan is going to be so uh now we're dropping the boss to ridiculously low levels of he health and this is getting dangerous because we want to keep our cooldowns uh, to use them right after the boss does the exchange. We want to be ready with everything, both healing and damage, for us to do our whole damage during that last 12 rounds. Because if not, then we'll basically be, be doing this forever. So, what you saw now, guys, is the big boss did his exchange with Hackhorn. Look at the boss. He's not even 100% because Hackhorn wasn't 100%. That's good. We don't have the healing with Hackhorn, but we'll do that A1 there. Good thing I wasn't... Uh, Autoing there, imagine if Hakorn sacrificed himself there. That would, that would have been uh, a reset, of course. Uh, we try not to do any debuffs on the boss. So I'll, I'll do a healing on Hakorn there, keep him alive. I'm going to keep Hakorn without using his A2. Wait for the boss to do his, uh, this skill, the exchange, and we have 11 turns. Boom, let's go. Ooh, getting very low. There's the big healing. There's the cleanse. Everybody's full, so Hackhorn, Coronar being so clutch, but honestly, you shouldn't take away from the other champions as well. Steel Skull and Basher are so important. Basher for controlling waves, he increases the cooldowns of the waves, and Steel Skull is an amazing healer. A2, A3 do healing, A3 also does a buff, and A1 does a nice amount of damage through poisons. We're gonna see the, um, the total of damage that he has in the end, but let's see if we can actually take down the boss. So, I'll skip this again. And we'll see if we actually manage to kill him. We lost somebody, guys. We lost somebody because of uh, just bad management, honestly. Uh, so we'll try this again. And I'll let you guys in uh, right until the, the last minute. So the boss is going <laughs> down low again, guys. It's the second time I'm trying this. Uh, the boss is at about 25% with four turns going uh, until he, he gets his uh, cooldown back up. So second time around, I, I was a bit more careful with everything. Um, I think we we can do this guys this time around and about 20% left just trying to do as many of my um, big damaging moves now not trying to keep anything for any reason um, like even if I mean this look at this how much damage this does 8,000 damage for a uh, HP percent move I mean I wish they changed it so I can crit so I can do some fun stuff with him uh, I'm not gonna heal or anything right now I think we're at a good position with an attack down also on the boss I don't think anybody will die so two turns uh, to go I'm gonna put the attack down just in case this goes for a bit longer there's the big cleanse for us to heal just all the damaging moves we can uh, next up we've got an all ally attack move I think we got this guys not gonna try and do any of the healing from steel skull and uh, a1 there from coronar a2 here which is a double hit all ally attack to finish this off i think so i mean with all the poisons yeah the boss is down guys look at this 11 minutes i mean uh, i think what my main account is 26 minutes i did it once and never went in there again there was no reason to go and beat this boss again guys so uh this was my my uh second takeover on the same account to finish off the faction wars guys easy um well easy easier uh, i didn't change any of the gear honestly on on all of the champions didn't want to uh, i saw that the champions were enough their power the gearing was okay i mean when you reach a point where you have over 200 speed on everybody it means th that they'll go almost twice um than what the boss is gonna go at least in faction wars in doom tower that's a whole different different subject it doesn't go like, like that but honestly faction wars dungeons it's kind of the same thing in terms of control. Uh, there we go. 
he, he's gonna pick up Lydia and a sacred chart. I hope he gets something good out of the sacred chart. If you guys are very interested in account takeover, just send me a message over on Discord, guys. Also, I'm trying to get to 350 downloads this month on Blue Stacks. If you guys don't mind to help me out and download Blue Stacks, there's a link down below in the description and in the comments. It's up to you guys. Blue Stacks definitely helps me out when I do play the game with macros uh, and and of course the eco mode for leveling up items. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.